today. <laughs> Nearly a third of Americans use Twitter. Well, the rest of us can communicate in complete sentences. We are the Imperial Valleys, AM 1230, KXO, El Centro, California. Uh, what's going on in the NFL? I'm Taylor Rashadi with NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. On Monday, the Texans added two more offensive pieces in free agency, signing NFL.com's top available tight end and the Bills' leading rusher from last season. NFL Network insider Tom Pelissero reporting former Cowboy Dalton Schultz is signing a one-year deal worth up to $9 million. The Texans also signing former Bills running back Devin Singletary to a one-year deal worth up to $3.8 million, according to NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport. Rapp also reporting the Bills are filling their vacancy at running back by signing former Patriots back Damian Harris. And Cam Newton will be back at quarterback on Tuesday. The former Panthers quarterback and 2015 MVP announced on social media that he'll be throwing at Auburn's pro day. Newton last played for the Panthers in 2021, but appears ready to resume his NFL career. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Like any good agent, we're here for the open house, for the closing, for handing over keys. But because we're Realtors, we're here for so much more. Agents who are Realtors volunteer at nearly three times the national average. We're working to broaden access to credit, increase affordable housing supply, and ensure fair housing for all. Realtors are bound by a code of ethics. We're here for it all. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. I'm Scott Trout, attorney and CEO of the domestic litigation firm Cordell & Cordell. We help men deal with the life changes triggered by divorce, such as child custody and property division, among many others. But life changes also occur after divorce. These changes can make parts of your existing court order irrelevant or harder to follow. If you feel a modification to your court orders might be necessary, talk to us at Cordell & Cordell. We're a partner men can count on. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell & Cordell's Phoenix area attorneys. Scott Trout, licensed in Missouri, Illinois, and Georgia only. CordellCordell.com. And it is a, uh, what, oh, oh, Tuesday, oh my, Tuesday, the 21st day of March, 2023. Uh, and, uh, well, depending on your calendar, uh, today or yesterday, the uh, first day of spring. Uh, you can go either way. I, uh, you know, it all depends on the moon. Oh, you mean the first day of spring or the last day? Well, the last day of winter. Winter. Or the first day of spring, I, you know the uh, uh, the vernal equinox. So I, you know, one calendar told me it was yesterday, another says it's today. The vernal equinox. That doesn't yes. even sound good. Yeah, the uh, the days they are getting longer. Have you noticed? Uh, not really. Okay. Not really. But I'm sooner or later that we'll start to have that experience. Yeah, it'll start adding up. I mean, what with the uh, ridiculous time change. Ridiculous. <sighs> we took an hour off in the morning, added it to the evening, so you're better off for it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Lord, help us, save us from the madness. Oh, and um, speaking of that, the uh, state of California says, uh, you know, there are uh, some additives in several candies, including Skittles, Sour Patch Kids, and Jelly Beans that are not good for you. There's concern in Sacramento. The additives are linked to cancer. So Skittles, Sour Patch Kids, and Jelly Beans may soon be illegal in California, but... Hey, weed is still legal, right? Mm hmm Okay. Way to go, Sacramento. Ah. Score one. Yeah. Okay. Protect us from ourselves. Hmm. <sighs> so, wow, anyway. Left me breathless. See. We've got some birthdays today, if you are ready. I'm ready. Okay. Let's see. Actor Kathleen Widows is 84. She's on... Uh, the soap as the stomach, I mean, the world turns. Oh, yeah, brought to you by Tiny yes. Bowl. Yes. Singer-guitarist Keith Potker of The Seekers, 82. 
Actor Marie Christine Barrow is 79. Singer, keyboardist Rose Stone of Sly in the Family Stone, 78. Actor Timothy Dalton, 77. In my mind, the second best Bond. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just in my mind. Singer, guitarist Roger Hodgson of Super Tramp, 73. Conrad Lozano plays bass for Los Lobos, 72. Uh, Russell Tompkins of The Stylistic, 72. Comedian Brad Hall, 65. Actor Sabrina LaBeouf is 65. Actor Gary Oldman, 65. Actor Cassie DePalva is 62. Actor Matthew Broderick, 61. Actor Cynthia Geary is 58. Actor Laura Allen, 49. Actor Sonequa Martin-Green is 38. Actor Scott Eastwood, 37. Actor Jasmine Savoy Brown is 29. And actor Forrest Wheeler is 19. We got local birthdays. Are you ready? I'm ready. Come on. They're up. coming up. Stay tuned. Have you visited the Peanut Patch in Yuma? Why not? Go ahead. Visit the Peanut Patch in Yuma. You're going to find so many great things available for you. The Peanut Patch, open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. You will find homemade chocolates, all sorts of varieties, made from scratch just for you. The Peanut Patch. You want to get there? Well, Google thepeanutpatch.com. You'll get directions. And, by the way, the Peanut Patch does offer tours on Tuesdays and Fridays. Go ahead. Tour the Peanut Patch. You're going to love it. Don't forget, Easter is just around the corner. And uh, you will love the variety of candies, chocolates, and goodies at the Peanut Patch. Perfect for an Easter basket. It's the Peanut Patch in Yuma. Donna and Pat say, come on by the Peanut Patch. In Yuma, let's celebrate today's birthdays. Happy birthday, Ray Pena, Catherine Gloria, Maggie Loera, Colby Bird, Esther Soto, Izzy Garcia, Manuel Weimer, Maria Puentes, Melissa Morales, Mike Goodspeed, Natalia Murgia, Peggy Ivan Graf, Roy Garcia, Susanna Mungia, Brenda Griffin, Lupita Alvarez. Happy birthday! And happy anniversary, Jean and Gloria Brister. Ah. Did you remember? I I did. No. Okay. I, I did not. In fact, I'll bet you Gloria didn't either. Uh, they keep on coming. Okay. Do you remember the wedding? I, I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. Do, do. I think I said that. I do. Yeah, I, I do, I do, I do. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, either yesterday or today we mentioned first day of spring, right? Yes. Yeah, that means I've got about, uh, well, by the end of today I have to take down my Christmas lights or it'll get really weird. You know, you're almost close enough now. You could just leave them up and you'll have a jump ahead for next year. That's an idea. I think I'll go with that one. Good idea. Thank you. It works. Yes. <laughs> and uh, sad news. Gloria Die, the first magician to perform on the Las Vegas Strip, is dead at the age of 100. Oh, wow. Die performed magic at the El Rancho Hotel at the age of 18 in 1941 in what would later be called the Las Vegas Strip. She was a great magician, although you have to admit, not as good as the Vegas monster, uh, mobsters, who could make an entire body disappear in Lake Mead, right? With the snap yeah. of the finger. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. With the low water level, we've yeah. kind of seen this. Well, there's Harry. Yeah. I haven't seen him in 40 years. Wondered where he went. Yeah. He looks good. Okay. Are you ready for news? Ready. We've got a look at World in California news headlines right now. And it is brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. They are your year-round comfort specialists. CBS News Special Report. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is urging Americans to have confidence in the U.S. banking system despite several recent failures. Speaking to the American Bankers Association, she says there is a plan in place to rescue others. Similar actions could be warranted if smaller institutions suffered deposit runs 
to pose the risk of contagion. Yellen says more long-term changes may be in order. We will need to re-examine our current regulatory and supervisory regimes and consider whether they are appropriate for the risk that banks face today. For now, she says the U.S. financial system is the most liquid in the world. With that in mind, the Fed's begun meetings on another possible interest rate hike. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. I hear that the most likely path is a quarter of a percentage point increase. CBS News special report. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news, weather advisories for much of the state. With more snow in the Sierras, heavy rains in much of the northern and central region, heavy rain in Southern California, where many have been preparing for the worst. You have a certain amount of almost PTSD, you know, it's like, mm-hmm. you, you're like, no, no snow, it can't come, you have this anxiety. Extensive street flooding, creek flooding, and river flooding possible in the L.A. area. Mountain communities still recovering from that storm that dumped several feet of snow there a few weeks ago. The latest conditions could last until Thursday. In Los Angeles, the Union representing school custodians, cafeteria workers, and bus drivers wants better pay and benefits. Teachers and other staff joining them today as they go on strike. Superintendent Alberto Carvalho. We will get through this. And at some point, we will agree to a contract. But not without a necessary dialogue. Hundreds of thousands of students home for the first time in what would likely be a three-day strike. Health needed to stop postal workers from being attacked. Number of cases doubling across the Bay Area the last two years. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News Headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. For repair, for replacement, for maintenance, call the experts, Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. I'm Martin Hoke, the inventor of Navage Nasal Care, and I love Navage. I've told you about how your nose is the body's air filter, that Navage's powered suction will help flush out allergens, viruses, mucus, and germs, and that Navage will help you breathe better. But what do other people say about Navage? Like Haley, quote, Navage is the best thing I bought. I love it. My nose feels so clear now and I can breathe. I've been struggling with a stuffy nose for weeks. I bought Navage and it's amazing. Or this one. I use Navage every night. Could not imagine life without it. I have five cats and before I found Navage, I was a clogged mess. Now I breathe so much better, unquote. Those are two of over 100,000 online reviews praising Navage, the all-natural solution trusted by over 3 million people to help you breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and stay healthier without drugs. Navage is available at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, Target, Rite Aid, and online. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. And it's page one of the local news, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire and Auto Centers, three locations in the Valley. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Taking a look at the latest in uh, local news, the County of Imperial welcomes Governor Gavin Newsman, Newsom to the Lithium Valley. Here's more on that. Monday, story. Imperial County officials and local leaders welcomed Governor Gavin Newsom to Lithium Valley at Controlled Thermal Resources, Hell's Kitchen Lithium and Power Project. Chairman of the Board of Supervisors, Ryan Kelly, joined Governor Newsom and other local leaders and legislators on a tour of the Mud Pots and Hell's Kitchen Project before a live-streamed press conference at CTR's project site. The public is welcome to participate in a public listening session at today's regularly scheduled Board of Supervisors meeting scheduled for 11 a.m. this morning to accept oral testimony via the public comment period regarding community spending priorities for potential lithium tax revenues. The meeting agenda can be accessed uh, at the uh, Board uh, of Supervisors, uh, well, uh, the County Board of Supervisors website. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. A 
fugitive is arrested uh, late last week. The woman was wanted on charges of human smuggling. She was taken into custody uh, late last week in Mexicali. An operation was set up between uh, Interpol uh, agents and the Mexican Attorney General's office. The suspect was located uh, and arrested without incident. Interpol uh, agents said the woman was a member of a criminal band of human smugglers. She was identified only as Ophelia. Uh, no other uh, details were released. KXO News Time, 743. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers have the best price on name brand tires guaranteed. We're talking the finest names in tires, Michelin, Pirelli, Dunlap, Bridgestone, Continental, and more. Check the prices, then talk to your Quick Lane Service Advisor. He will give you the best price, guaranteed. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Quick Lane at El Centro Motors, in the Brawley Auto Center, and now at the Imperial Valley Mall. In other local news, the County Board of Supervisors, they meet today, being Tuesday. Here's more on that story. The meeting is being held this morning in El Centro. Public portion of the meeting begins with a uh, proclamation in observance of Cesar Chavez's day. The uh, board will honor Amelia Juarez for her 27 years service with the county. Nathan Miller will be honored for his 28 years service with the county. Ruben Melendez will be recognized as employee of the month for February and uh, milestone recognitions will be presented for the month of March. The board will discuss uh, their opposition to SBS uh, 787 Lithium Extraction Tax Citizen Oversight Committee. Uh, they will discuss a proposed some, a proposal submitted by the uh, San Diego State University as part of the uh, Salton Sea Renewable Resource Health Impact Assessment. They will also discuss a Highway 98 widening business impact grant program. Planning and development will also hold, conduct a public hearing. Imperial Irrigation District Board of Directors will meet uh, in their regular meeting at 1 o'clock this afternoon. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. And that concludes this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two. Page one of the local news has been a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers at the Broadway Auto Center at the Imperial Valley Mall at El Centro Motors and wherever you are with their mobile vans. Attention pilots, Imperial Valley Flight Training will be conducting an eight-week ground training regimen conducted by certified flying instructor Wally Hale in preparation for the FAA knowledge test. The course begins April 4th with two meetings per week and is open to student pilots, all aviation enthusiasts, and rusty pilots looking for a refresher on navigation, weather, performance, and more. Cost is $495 due on registration. Includes all study materials and instruction. Registration deadline is April 4th. For more information, call Wally Holy Hale, 760-427-8771. Page two of the local news and weather served by K Sushi Bar and Grill in Imperial. Great Japanese food. They specialize in sushi rolls. 50 different varieties of sushi rolls, one for every state. Continuing with more local news, uh, skimming devices uh, were found in the valley. George Giel explains. A man servicing ATM machines at the Bank of America branch on Main Street in El Centro found skimming devices on three of the machines. The discovery was made late Sunday evening when the serviceman located the skimming devices and cameras on the automated teller machines at that bank. The devices were removed and turned over to police. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Imperial County Office of Education uh, will hold an event. It's their 18th annual regional Imperial County Spelling Bee. It will be held uh, this Thursday, March 23rd from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Jimmy Cannon Theater Southwest High School uh, in El Centro. The event will be live streamed on YouTube. Students must check in uh, at 5.20 uh, p.m. If you need more information, you can contact the Imperial County Office of Education. 
Well, here's a recipe that uh, I've never heard of before. A shipment of watermelons uh, seized and mixed with cocaine. Here's more in the story. It happened uh, last week in Calexico. A tractor-trailer rig had entered the cargo port. The uh, driver presented a valid crossing card and a manifest declaring a load of watermelons. A Customs and Border Protection officer referred the rig uh, to the loading dock for a more in-depth search. CBP K-9 alerted to the shipment. The uh, cargo was searched and officers found and removed 22 wrapped packages of cocaine. Packages weighed nearly 120 pounds and were uh, concealed within plastic pallets. Narcotics had an approximate value of $1.5 million. 41-year-old driver was placed under arrest. He was turned over to U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Homeland Security Investigations for further investigation. CBP officers seized the cocaine and the tractor-trailer rig. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. A postponed Market Days event. The rescheduled event will be held this Saturday. The event that includes the 11th annual Tri-Tip Cook-Off has been scheduled, had been scheduled for February 25th. It was postponed because of inclement weather. It was rescheduled for March 25th. That is uh, this Saturday. It will be held in downtown Imperial. The cook-off will be up to uh, 18 participants. They'll run uh, their competition from 4 to 9 p.m. The market day event begins at 5. <clears throat> All uh, the original activities uh, planned for the event will be featured at the rescheduled uh, uh, serving of the event, which includes a lot of family fun. We'll be back with a look at the weather. K Sushi Bar and Grill, serving you fresh and delicious Japanese food. Also giving you great customer service and a menu full of items for everyone's appetite. Check out their unique Estates Sushi Rolls, one for each of our 50 states. And come join them with their famous Saki Bomb, a thrilling event with James Chingon. Make a group reservation at their cozy patio or cater at K Sushi Bar and Grill, 416 South J Street in Imperial. Or call in your order at 760-355-4444. Visit them at ksushibarandgrill.com. Here's Carol Buckley with a weather update. Expect cloudy and wet conditions today as the next system approaches our region. This system will bring elevated chances of rainfall as well as breezy to windy conditions and continued below normal temperatures. In the wake of this system, drier conditions are expected, but temperatures will continue to run well below normal through at least this weekend. 77, the high yesterday, 61, the overnight low. Wind gusts peaked at 32 miles an hour yesterday afternoon. Mostly cloudy today with a high near 75. Southwest wind 10 to 20 miles an hour becoming southeast. Winds could gust as high as 30 miles an hour. Mostly cloudy tonight then gradually becoming clear. Look for a low around 52. South, southeast wind 10 to 15 miles an hour. Becoming west 15 to 20 miles an hour after midnight. Winds could gust as high as 35 miles an hour. There is a 20% chance of showers before 11 p.m. Tomorrow, sunny with a high near 70. West, northwest wind 15 to 25 miles an hour. Becoming southwest, those winds could gust as high as 35 miles an hour. We have 63 degrees, 55% relative humidity. Wind out of the south, southeast, 5 to 7 miles an hour. Page 2 of the local news, served by K Sushi Bar and Grill in Imperial. Check out the daily lunch specials. The dinner menu features 16 different entrees. K Sushi Bar and Grill, just off Highway 86 in Imperial. What do you get when you combine the fun of a day out on the golf course with the thrills of bowling a strike or two with the excitement of hitting a jackpot on your favorite slot machine? What do you get? All the fun under the sun. And that's what you'll find and more at Coca Casino and Resort. 
South Highway 95 in Somerton. Plan it all at CocopaResort.com. It's sports time. Brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network. Log on to PMHD.org for more information about Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Well, Japan walked off with a 6-5 win over Mexico in the World Baseball Classic uh, semifinals yesterday. That sets up a match between the U.S. and Japan. That game scheduled for today. And, uh, well, it uh, should be a good one. Shohei Otani says he will uh, be available as uh, both a hitter and a pitcher for the uh, game. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all your healthcare needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Brawley, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all the Pioneer services, visit pmhd.org today. NBA action. The Hornets hammered the Pacers 115-109. It went overtime before the Bulls beat the 76ers 109-105. Timberwolves topped the Knicks 140-134. Warriors whipped the Rockets 121-108. Grizzlies over the Mavericks 112-108. Jazz jumped on the Kings 128-120. And former NFL quarterback Cam Newton says uh, he's ready to come back to the NFL. The uh, smiling Newton says, uh, hey, uh, I don't think there are 32 quarterbacks in the league that are better than me. Meanwhile, it's uh, Sweet 16 action, college basketball. As uh, Thursday, it will be Michigan State, Kansas State, followed by Arkansas, Yukon, Florida, Atlantic, and Tennessee, then Gonzaga and UCLA. On Friday, it's uh, first up, Alabama and San Diego State go Aztecs, Miami and Houston, Princeton and Creighton, and Xavier and Texas. We've got action right here on AM 1230 KXO. That's it for Sports Time, brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. It's March Madness on AM 1230. Three seconds, no timeouts. The NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. We win! We got the action all the way through the Final Four and the championship game. March Madness on KXO AM 1230 brought to you by Imperial Valley College, Dan's Auto Body in El Centro, and the Center for Employment Training. And it's a look at financial news with a brief look at the weather. All brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. It's Southwest Security with live scan fingerprinting available to the public. Taking a look at Wall Street, the federal government could once again come to the rescue of uninsured bank depositors if smaller lenders suffer bank runs like the one that collapsed Silicon Valley Bank. That according to remarks from U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, Yellen argues the government's decisive and forceful actions successfully calmed the banking crisis and boosted confidence in the system. Yellen said a new lending facility launched by the Federal Reserve, along with its existing discount window, are working as intended to provide liquidity to the banking system. She said deposit outflows from regional banks in aggregate have stabilized. Elsewhere, Google has suspended Chinese shopping app Pinduoduo over malware. In a Tuesday statement, Google said versions of the app that are not in the Play Store have been found to contain malware. We have suspended the Play version of the app for security concerns while we continue our investigation. It has also enforced Google Play Protect 
which scans apps installed on Android phones for harmful behavior on the allegedly malicious apps, according to the statement. In a statement to CNN, Pinduoduo said it was informed by Google Play that its app had been temporarily suspended because the current version is not compliant with Apple's policy. In a later statement, Pinduoduo said it strongly rejects the speculation and accusation that Pinduoduo app is malicious just from a generic and non-conclusive response. From Google. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Ohio in El Centro. It will be mostly cloudy today with a high near 75. Look for southwest wind 10 to 20 miles an hour, gusting up to 30 miles an hour, a 40% chance of showers, mainly after 9 a.m. Tonight, mostly cloudy, then gradually becoming clear with a low around 52. South, southeast wind 10 to 15 miles an hour, becoming west 15 to 20 miles an hour after midnight, with gusts as high as 35 miles an hour. There is a 20% chance of showers before 11 a.m. Tomorrow, sunny with a high near 70. West-northwest wind 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts as high as 35 miles an hour. Those winds will shift out of the southwest later in the day. And right now downtown El Centro, we are looking at 54 degrees. I'm sorry, 64 degrees, 55% relative humidity. The wind coming out of the south-southeast at 5 to 7 miles an hour. Financial news and a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security Services, offering 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal. You'll find them at the corner of 4th and Heil in El Centro. Coming up, CBS News on the Hour, and we'll be back after that with more of the best oldies on the radio. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. CBS News brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank, fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Liberty Mutual Insurance. I'm Steve Kaith, and Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen doesn't rule out more bank rescues as she touts a system that she insists is still sound. Yellen told the American Bankers Association that the federal government's action in the wake of bank failures in California and New York demonstrates its commitment to take the necessary steps to ensure that depositors' savings and the banking system remain safe. She also says more action might be needed if smaller institutions suffer deposit runs that pose a risk of spreading. Allison Keyes, CBS News, Washington. Well, CBS's Robert Costas in New York City at a heavily fortified courthouse where a grand jury has been hearing the hush money case that could legally imperil former President Trump. CBS News has learned that an indictment of Trump is not expected today, but could come sometime later this week. Meanwhile, Trump's campaign has been issuing a flurry of fundraising appeals to his supporters. Well, now to Los Angeles, where a school strike is underway. CBS's Steve Futterman. This is the first picket line set up as this school strike begins. It's at a bus yard where normally buses go out in the very early morning to pick up students throughout Los Angeles. Bus drivers are being joined by other workers like food servers, like custodians. They will not show up at the schools today. Around 30,000 people taking part in this strike. A second day of meetings today in Moscow for Russia's Vladimir Putin and President Xi of China. CBS's Ramey and a sense reporting from Ukraine. Ukraine is closely following this Xi-Putin summit and also saying that it expects Beijing to use its influence to make Moscow end this war. They're waiting to see what comes out of this meeting in order for Vladimir Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, to say something there.
Federal safety regulators are investigating complaints from 2022 and 23 Honda Civic drivers that their steering can stick. Meantime, Dodge has unveiled what's billed as the world's fastest production car. A parachute to slow it down is optional. The Dodge Challenger SRT Demon 170 can go from 0 to 60 in 1.66 seconds and pulls more than 2 Gs while doing it. They're making 3,300 of these to celebrate the final production year of the Challenger and Charger. Sticker price just over $96,000. Jeff Gilbert, CBS News, Detroit. Philanthropist Mackenzie Scott launching an open call for 250 community-focused nonprofits to gain access to 250 million in donations. The Dow is up 200 points. This is CBS News. Nobody should have to pay for one-size-fits-all insurance coverage. Liberty Mutual customizes your car and home insurance so you only pay for what you need. Liberty Mutual Insurance. What do you mean he went searching for fresher powder? We have full classes today. Instructor down at Vesper Ski School. Support each other to snowplow, honey, not away. She needs more ski instructors to slalom through the day-to-day. -day. Pizza, fries. Whoa, really, no, pizza, pizza. Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. We instantly connect you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. It's March, and you know what that means. Taxes are almost due. Jackson Hewitt can help you win tax season. That's the sound of your maximum tax refund. The sound of getting 50% off tax prep. The sound of many of our competitors' prices going up. <laughs> And the sound of getting to your nearest Jackson Hewitt. Hurry in for 50% off tax prep before this offer expires April 9th. Limited time offer for new clients filing to participate in locations. Max value $200. Visit jacksonhewitt.com slash 50 for terms. There's an honor coming for a late funny man who stretched the limits. Comedian Andy Kaufman will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame this year thanks to his fake feud with Jerry the King Waller. I will sue you for everything you have. I will sue your You're a it began when Kaufman declared himself the intergender wrestling champion of the world. During a joint appearance on Late Night with David Letterman in 1982, the longtime friends convinced the audience they were bitter enemies when Lawler knocked Kaufman out of his chair. This year's Hall of Fame ceremony is March 31st. No word on who will induct Kaufman, who died of cancer in 1984. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. TikTok has rolled out new updated rules and standards for content and users as it faces more pressure about its Chinese ownership. They include eight principles to guide content decisions based on a commitment for human rights. Steve Kaith and CBS News. My name is Sarah Griffin, and I'm the executive director of the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Food has the power to fuel communities, especially for those struggling to find their next meal. As a monthly donor...